Moi guys, Airchart here, and today we're looking at the speed backflip flick, popularized, and I also think maybe, not maybe invented, I don't think he was the first person to do it, but he was certainly the first person to see the potential, and that is the man himself, Jezza. This flick, I believe, is really underused and underrated. It's amazing, it's fast to pull off, it has no telegraph, and it can be picked up fairly early. I'd recommend diamonds, depending on the bindings. Personally, currently, this is probably about a D on mileage, but realistically, could get into an A. The reason it's lower than that is because there are less mechanically demanding moves that can have a similar effect, but I really like this move and I think if you master it, it's game over. So let's break this down. First, when do we do it? And then we're going to get into the mechanics. So when do we do it? Well, this move can work really well. As soon as you've got the ball on your car and you're carrying it with a bit of momentum, this flick is so fast and it gives such nice lift and pop that it can be used both reactively and proactively. So if you see the defender turn, you can fire it over the top. Or if you've got control of the ball, you can use it to proactively lift the ball high and make the defender work. But let's get into the meat and potatoes of this fine move. How do we do it? Well, let's look at ball placement. The ball wants to be basically more towards the center, but not too close to the center, otherwise you will get the ball pop. We want it deep in the windscreen. As the deeper it goes in the windscreen, the higher the flip will go, and the further forward, the quicker it will initially accelerate. So let's look at the mechanics. So with this flick, before you even start, you need to be holding a directional air roll, either left or right. Now this tends to work best when the ball is on the center line of the car, but can work when it's falling to either side with both directional air rolls. So by this I mean if I use air roll right, it will work even if it falls to the left or right, but is more potent to the opposite side, aka the left. And of course the opposite is true with air roll left. Once we have the ball moving with the car, and it's where we want it, whilst holding directional air roll, we want to do a backflip cancellation. Now the speed for this cancel is extremely important. Too quick and it will basically be like a side flip. too slow and it will pop the ball but you won't have power and your recovery could be awkward. So the speed of the cancel is right between the half flip cancel and the speed flip cancel. So it's a semi fast cancel and basically what we're looking at is we're trying to activate the cancel once we see the car lift slightly backwards and this will give us the height. Give this one a try guys. I feel like this is really underrated. If you're wondering the binding I use for this move, I put air roll right as my left button whilst boost being on B and jump on A with the Xbox controller, that is. And there it is. Thank you everyone so much for the support. I really greatly appreciate it. And thank you to the patrons for continuing to have coaching sessions and help support the channel. But you're all doing a great job of supporting by watching, commenting, liking and subscribing. I really, really, really appreciate it. And I'm going to set myself a little goal. It's optimistic, but whatever, you know. By my birthday, 27th of July, I want to see if we can get to 2K subs. I know it's a high goal, but i got to put it out into the universe, baby. Thanks, everyone, for watching. Hope this is helping. Have a nice life. Look after yourself. And peace out. Peace.